All righty, welcome back. I'm in the trunk, cutting back more metal. I'm releasing these because I feel like I need it. Um, what, what's going on right at the present moment is, is, or I guess I'm just gonna explain why I'm cutting it off. If I take the angle from here and go up here, I'm up almost to the back top of the back window here. I don't want to do that. For some reason, I want to keep I want to keep this swinging door. Um, I'm thinking that I'd like to have a back window that will open up. Don't know why. Never seen it done before, I guess. But I don't want to go up all the way. I want it to come down a little way so I can have a little mailbox window going across the back and I can open it up. Uh, so what I'm doing is, with this, with this lip going up here, that's where it would go. I cannot take a piece of metal and aim it down because it's like a house. You want your foundation, your water running away from your house. Um, also, it would, meet, it would make an angle here. Um, it would be a pitch there, so if you went to fill it out, you'd be going up and then it'd be coming down like that. Don't want that. So basically, I'm cutting it off so I can start my pitch. A little sooner and maybe I can round it to get it down so it's about here somewhere so stick with me and I'm gonna cut this off and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do She caught me off guard, boys. She caught me off guard. She had a camera up and I'm working. She said, rock and roll. <laughs> Package tray is gone. Package tray has been cut out. Relief that. I'm going to come out this way. Uh, we have, you can see the trunk is being, or the back support for the trunk hinges are being held from the wheel well up there. Don't know what I'm going to do there yet, but I'm going to jump out of this bad boy. You can see if you do there. So what I'm hoping, this is what I'm hoping, that I can take it and go from here up to there with a less of an angle. So I'm going to show you what I was talking about. Maybe you want to check the mic I was sitting on in there and didn't know you were starting. No, you're good. I'm good, she said. I'm, it's, I'm glad I'm, I'm good. So when I had this piece up in here, it took me up quite a ways. Where I got it down here, maybe I can get it down a ways. Ugh. Still not behaving. Well, it's not bad. It's not bad. I sort of like to have a little bit of window going on. It's not a bad roll there. I'm up against that. This is going to have to be cut down. This is the hard part right here. I'm gonna chow them off. I'm gonna chew this off. I think what I wanna do is, this is what I wanna do. I think I wanna run the square stock. You can see down here before we start it, I got the, the roof connected to this brace right here. I just connected the back side. I can connect all the front side to the wheel well after. Um, be a good job for Aiden maybe to make pieces, to make patterns and put pieces in. Uh, it might be a good job for me too. <laughs> but I've gotta connect it down in the back. Also, what I'm going to, oh, <laughs> it caught me off guard. All the roof has been put together. We got that spliced together, got that tight and right. I got Jolene to hold this side and I just kept running the grinder through it. The zip cut through it until it fit right. We got it tacked on there, so it's very nice. Uh, we've got it in place right on, uh, so I'm going for it. So now I'm going to hack these off. I'm going to hack this one off because I like it. And then I'm going to go to the other side 
and then I'm going to hack the other one off the same length. And basically what I want to do is I want to run some square stock. I'm going to cut this off, run some square stock from underneath this line over to the other side. I'm going to put a little pitch in it like this. So when I run my piece up, I got something to lay my metal on top of. I want to run a piece of square stock from here up to this square stock. So when I run my piece of metal in here, I got something to run my metal on here. So I'm going to brace it from a uh, piece of square stock from there to there, from here down into here. I got something to lay my metal on. Then when it comes to these corner pieces, then I have something to make my corner piece come to. My square stock will go halfway with this piece. And then I can fold here and make this piece. Um, there's been lots of thinking going on on this car. Um, this is one of the cars that you're going to have to watch from, from the start to, to the end. And the reason being is there's so many things going through my brain. Like um, we can make the roof go this way. I can put a piece of metal here and make the roof go this way. I can go all the way up here and, and cut a piece here and cap this all off, make the roof go that way. Uh, there's so many things that can happen. Um, so many design features that can happen. We can, I got a piece of tape on this side where we can cut it down and go this way. We can do that and whatever. Joni's got me on sort of a, um, that was a weird start for me. Welcome back everybody, it was a weird start for me, so I'm kind of just in my moment, so stick with me. I'm gonna cut that side off over there. Thanks a lot, Joni. <laughs> You're still a 10 though, baby, you're still a 10. I'm gonna cut this off. And when I get back and look at it, I don't need a very, very big back window, I don't think. I don't think it needs a very big back window. What size, what size would you like? That one's smaller, that one's bigger. Would you like a bigger back window, smaller back window? I like the bigger back window myself. I'm gonna go with this side. And we'll cut this one off and then I'll measure this one. I like this one better. I'm going to go from me. And I uh, like Joni said, if I leave it a little bit long, then I can always cut it off. go with that. It's off a little bit, we'll fix it. Um, basically what has to happen on this part, when I put the square stock in there, the square stock has to go underneath of this piece, so this piece can open up and go back forth. This is going to have to have a bottom put on it from over there to there. It's flat glass. I want that to open for some reason. I want that to open. Uh, me and Jolene went, went to breakfast this morning. We were even talking about colors and uh, what we're going to do to it. And uh, stick with us. top of the roof and I'm saying they're in the exact same spot. 15 and a half. Got nothing else to go by so I'm just going by that. Why not? 15 a little bit less. 15 and a quarter. This is what I'm going to do. Just to tell me. 
tape right around here anywhere, baby? Uh, Get a, probably a true read. Tape. to the other side, see what happens, right there, don't stretch the tape or you're just going to mess yourself up, I'm pretty close, I'm going to leave it, I'm going to leave it, that where there is scratch Turn the other way because of that mark, but that's pretty well right there. I'm gonna leave it for now. Alrighty. I need a piece of square stock that goes from here over to there. And I can weld it on the outside here because that's where the metal's going. So I'm gonna go a square stock from underneath this piece here give it a little bit of gap and then my metal can come up, come up here and lay on top of it and we're still going up if you know what I'm trying to say we want we want the level we want the water rolling backwards obviously we don't want it running in so if I'm if I'm too far down well then the water's going to run in towards the roof I don't really want that I don't think it's going to be a hard one and the reason being is, I think when I look at it, this piece here, and I can put that down there, tighten that down to that, I could. That would give me some, that would help me pretty, tremendously. I might take a pair, a pair of things and tie, bring that right down to that. That'll tighten that up. That'll make the angle different. That'll help in so many ways. That's what I'm gonna do. And if I have to cut that further, I'm gonna have to cut it further. So what I'm going to do first, though, is, is I'm going to take a measurement from across here to here. Don't have to do that. I'll just, I'll just bend my, I think I'll just bend my, my square stock and then hold it against there and then trace this side and trace that side. I think that's what I'm going to do. I have to get a piece of top. Oh, We've had some pretty good discussions on this bad boy so far. That's good. Remember, I've said it before, those who beat to their own drum shake the world. And uh, right this old car here is um, we're, we're beating to our own drum. This is nothing no one else has done. Um, this is what we're doing. And uh, this is the stuff that sets people apart. Um, when you're doing something like the 40 over there, we just got done doing all the metal work on the 40. Um, that, that car has already been done. Uh, we already know that everybody likes it. We know, um, yeah, we know all that stuff. But when you get doing something like this and you put a roof on something that's not supposed to be there and no one's ever done it before, um, there's people think, no, it's not going to look good, it's not going to whatever. We have just got started. Um, there's so many design features that can happen. Like I said, which way we can angle the roof, we can close this all in, we can make the doors move further, we can cut the doors down, um, we could have made the roof go right up to the top of this roof. There's so many things, paint scheme, um, there's so many things that can make this car um, a beautiful car. It's just, what can I say? You have to, what can I say? Do the work, I guess. Just, just do the work. Keep going. When I built the Green Goblin, I wasn't thinking it was the most beautiful car in the world. That's for sure. <laughs> that's for sure. Not at all. Not at all. And this is just an art product. Part of being artistic, I guess.
there's that thing again. It fits in the center, but it don't generally bend the ends that well. You only try and tighten it. Dang it, what do you like it? And I like it. Alrighty. I like it. Oh, I didn't like that, it's fine. If I get in here. Back on here again. This side's good. This side over there is beautiful. This side here is going to come down a little bit more. You can tell. See, you can see a little gap there. No gappy over there, right? That ring over there. Gap out of it somewhat. One side, attack it, and then I'll go over and mark the other side and cut it. I'm gonna cut this way. So, yeah, so I'm trying to make this to go up, square stock it, and then I can start building these corners. Don't know if I'm gonna do something like that going around the corner, don't know yet. That's why I say you don't know until the, until the picture's done. Bob Ross, you could never tell what he was painting until he was done. You didn't know where the trees were going or where they weren't. <laughs> So we're going to change the angle of that because I want the, I guess the metal can go on that angle right there, on the top angle. The metal would lay on this corner right here. Trying to see how fast the motorbike will go. He is every day. So there's so many things that um, that can happen on this thing. The corner windows, can, like I said, the corner windows can change. The top of the doors can change. Uh, the back of the window can change. It's hard to describe how many things um, can be done to this as I'm working on it and as I'm playing with it. There's so many things that can change. So basically what I'm trying to say is you really have to uh, wait until the picture is, is done before you say anything. Uh, it's almost like
side, sweetheart, for Over on the other side? Yeah, please. Just try to come over. Now I'm going to turn the gas on. Thank you, sweetheart. Appreciate it. Just want to tack that again. It's got a very spot here. And apply. Now it's just tacked in there. Everything I'm going to do is I'm going to tack it first. Let's see whether I like it. So I think I want to hit it with a hammer for a second. I just want to hit it right there, but I want to tack it right in here. You're good, baby. You're good. Backing over cords and everything else she is holding that camera. She's good, man. She's good. Alright, what I'm going to do is, this part right here, when I get this, when I get this piece tightened up here and, and tack this together, I'm going to have to, this piece, the hinge piece, is tied to this piece, this panel here that's tied to the wheel well, that, tied, that bolts to the hinge that holds the, the trunk with it. So, when I get this piece down, so I'm going to try to pull this down a little bit. I'm going to splice that a little bit and pull this down a little bit. Then I'm going to have to section this piece to get this corner part down. But I want to get something holding it first, holding the holding this part before I start reliefing that. So I'm going to take and relief this a little bit here because I'm going to end up knocking this down a little bit. I'm thinking maybe not. We'll see what happens. I'm going to take and run that third channel on. Channel locks across that, hold that tight. Hard stuff to show, but we're going to show you the process, what I'm doing, I guess. And anything I don't like, I'll change it. Better like that, it takes the angle down quite a bit. I'm going to leave 
that. Because we're lower over there anyway. Right on. The lower I can get that, let the change the angle, the better. You can see the angle being changed already, how this is tilted up, and that's tilted down. It makes it better already. Not too big for what I want. For now. Just a little bit of half to it. Turn that off just for a second. We'll get this down just a little bit. Not going to worry about it for now and the reason being is I'm not there yet. I want a piece of metal from there. I want to get a coat hanger and check out the angles. What I want to check out, I want to check out the angle. One of these bad boys right here is what I'm talking about. Look at the team now. There, I'm happy with that. Happy with that. Not a big drastic in angle change. And what I mean by that, this was stuck up in the air like this before. I can't get that to come down with a curve this way. I'm not going to get it to come down like that. Not bad. That looks good. I'm happy with that. And we're running downhill. And we're running downhill. Good. Awesome. down like that. Just kind of looking at it for a second. Just kind of wondering what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do. I should measure the back window a little bit because if I start connecting to it, I want to know what's saying. First clip, down. First clip down, six and a quarter, hold on the same. Six and a quarter, right on the money. Loving it, loving it. Alrighty. Anything in the center I can change a little bit. A little push a little bit, but. You know how many times we went like this? Looking down the back window like this, looking up to the front window, first place you see light, both corners show up. So we know we're square, basically. Um, square stock. One piece of square stock from here. Up to here. And then that will give me my piece of metal. I can put like a nice sheet of metal in there. I can weld it to this, and then I can weld it to this. Then when I have my square stock here, going from here to there, then I can make my panel for here. So basically I have support in all ways around. I should almost X brace this again, but we can do that from the inside. When we open the door up, we can do that anytime. But right now, the, my basic worry, not my worry, but my basic, I'll cut that a little bit more obviously to get that open. My basic concern is to get the back covered in 
so I can start getting a visual. And uh, I will be tacking things, making things work, banging things, doing what it, what it takes to make it work. So I'm going to go, there's a, there's a brace right here that holds the hinge. There's a nice square pocket there. There's a piece right here where I can connect my square stock to nice. Uh, I'm going to connect it in there up to here. So I need a piece. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to bend a piece and cut the two pieces. This is the boat. This is straight. You can see how this corner here is bent on this one. Right there in that tab, I don't want that straight, so I can put a piece of square stock in there. Square stock and go down there and weld on that, weld on that, we'll run it right up to there. Get an angle going on there. I think what I'll do is I'll cut that. We'll start beating it. square block to make it the shape I want. I don't have to bag it on the floor to do it. No, I do not. Just cut like this. I'll just cut a piece off first, I guess. Make sure I have enough. Like I said, sometimes measuring things complicates things. Yeah, it's just long enough. You want me to take that ground off for you? It's okay. You okay walking over top of it? Yes, believe me, when we go, when, when um, we knocked the roof off it, to me, like, I mean, it's a four-door car. It's not that, it wasn't that great of a looking, it's a good looking car down the side. I feel like what I'm doing, it's going to be hard to ruin the car because of the features of the side of the car. Any car that you look up that has this feature going down the side and running down and running back up and what it looks like looks awesome. I feel like me changing the roof is changing a shape and we're going to leave the shape change. We're taking that shape away, the round roof on the top of it that we're used to. And, you know, for someone or for anybody to say it's not going to work or that's ugly or whatever, the picture is not even painted yet. <laughs> We haven't even got the trees in yet, or the lake running, or the, or the, you know, the uh, water hitting the rocks, or the trout jumping out of the, we haven't got any of that going on yet. We're basically just starting the project. Um, after today, maybe when we get the bum coming up, you know, as you, know, as you paint the picture, the picture will become a little bit, and so, it's so immature to say something doesn't look good when it's not finished. Like it really it speaks volumes speaks volumes of someone's character. <laughs> when you're able to say it doesn't look good when it's not finished. <laughs> you have to ask yourself. It speaks volume of your character. If you're not open, you know. If you're not open, I'm sure when people looked at Ed Ross, um, whatever car he done, they looked at his cars and they said, 
I don't like that car. Well, no. Where, where's the car now? It's in a museum and everybody goes over it. And I am not scared to build something that no one's ever seen before. Not, not in the least, as you can tell. Some people will appreciate it. And some people get scared. You know when the time takes. That's a match. You facing the ours right there. Match made in heaven. All right. So as I got this here, I've got a little bit. Of, I've got some crown to it. Everything generally wants a crown. Even the queen wants a crown. I've got to figure out how I'm going to put that on there. I think that looks nice like that, but the metal does not lay down on top of it. If you know what I'm trying to say, the metal does not lay down on top of it. So I'm going to cut it in the middle and put some on top, some on the bottom. So I'm going to do, I'm going to cut the slice the middle so I can put, you can see as I put it in there, it's nice like that. Yes, it does. But it does not allow for the metal to come over lay down on top. But that's why I want that. I want that for structure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice it. I'm going to put some on top and some on the bottom and slice it, put it in there. We can put more shape in the tube if we want. It's all the way back to this piece here. Now I can weld underneath there and tighten it up. I can weld along here, weld along here, weld along there. Have it tight and right. Now I'm gonna make this fit. I want it to go. Go just a little bit of a little bit. I think I want to just mark it. Have the pieces in there. We'll cut a little bit, and then we'll cut a little bit more. That way, there, I try won't try to mess it up.
know it's not straight. It went straight there. Looks good and straight to me. So that gives me a chance to make a panel here nice. Just an easy panel. Take it over to the roller. Roll it out. And then put a gentle little roll in it and we'll lay it on top there. We'll mark it. Put a nice piece in it. It'll come over here. I can come halfway on here. Halfway over there. Then I get a chance to make a panel from here over around here on top of this. And I'm thinking that that's it. over this time. Go safer. Fina loves the bark. what I want to do. I don't want to mess that angle up because I want it to fit in there tight and right. I don't want it over there. Nope. Straight. Like that. Just gotta take it off a little bit more. Just a little bit. Right angle. Just a little bit more. So that kind of tells you that, <laughs> that uh, I'm not in the norm. I think there's only one of those cars in the world. And uh, it's one of my favorite cars, the Phantom Corsair. It's something that one man had a vision for. Uh, he had passion for it, he had it built, and I think it's gorgeous. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, come in there just a little bit more. I'll take it straight. I probably could whisper that off just a little bit more. Just a hair. I'm gonna do it just because it needs it. Just a hair. Uh, just nailed down. I hit that with a hammer, didn't I? Probably 
shouldn't have. Are right get over here. I'm not gonna hit a little too hard. Get in there. It says a lot, but fits. It says we're going in the right direction. That's that's good to me. It's got a little, it's got a little twist on it, but it's it's good to me. That fits. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Perfect. Good. Good. Holy.
So it fits right. It's nicer. It's nicer. Sure does. It's nice and tight back there. I'm going to cut the top of that off. Get that fitting better first. Love it. I'm going to cut the top of that off. I don't want to run all the way back. On the top, it's holding that sheet metal up a little bit. Don't want that. here, weld underneath there, and I can make sure I'll take the zip cut and run it down through here so I, it doesn't interfere, interfere with the sheet metal. I'll check the other one on the other side, and then I'm going to tack them in. I'm going to cut this one off too, I think. So I have this one in here, get right to the point. I want to take the cut, see where the, it interferes with the sheet metal? If I want to bring the sheet metal down, I can't because that's in the way. And it allows me to bring it down a little bit if I cut it off, because there's no place to weld it. So I'm also just, I can bring that, that means I can bring the sheet metal down at least, um, look by looks of things, of an eighth, and weld it onto the square stock. Perfect. Go with that. We'll go with that. Now I can push that metal down and I can butt weld it with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tack this on for now. Watch yourself, sweetheart. Julie looks amazing. She caught me off guard this morning, boys. She caught me off guard. That's okay. Because that's what we do. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to measure anything. I'm not going to do anything like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to eye it up. And I'm going to put, put this corner on with this corner of the door. And I'm just going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Generally, that works out for me. Um, unless you're starting with something crooked, then it, then it does matter, I guess. But both pieces are basically the same. You can see how I got this piece here. You can look at this way. You can see how I've got just the edge of this thing here going with the edge of the door. Then I'll go over the other side and I'll do the exact same thing on that side. I'll make sure that, that side is on with the edge of the door. Go over there a little bit, but before I take off, I'll make sure it's in the right place. So I'm going to nail this one on. And me when nail it on, I'm going to tack. So we're basically, I'm going to run it right on the edge of the door. I can snip that off at any time I want to. I've got it in the spot where I can snip it off. Then I'm going to run the other one. Same as that. Just going to take a look. Basically, right on the corner of that. Basically, right on the corner of that. I'm going to knock it on back here. for the trunk lids back. It's not all nailed on. No, it's not. But, I've got to start somewhere. And you can see I can push that metal down now and get the top of that and weld that on I can. i got to go along the bottom and weld it and down underneath the hinge there to weld it. Not sure what I'm going to do here yet on this corner because I have this piece. I might have to, I might have to cut that, take some metal out of it, shrink it, and then push it back down. What I mean, I'll just take a, and you see it over here. I'll just stay on that side, sweetheart, and I'll explain. When this is all coming down now, and this is shot up higher, so I'm going to have to. This is holding somewhat. I'm going to have to cut this here, and cut this piece here, and take a little bit out of it. And then shove it down and then put it back together again. That's basically what's going to have to happen there. I'm going to have to get inside the car, and that's okay. So I have some metal stuck up. I'm going to zip cut that because I'm going to have to flush out. You can see I want to butt weld that together.
when I go to do this car, when I, if I go to fill this car and every, anything like that, it's got filler on it. The, the, all the pieces that they put on it, I'm not going in there and digging into that stuff. I'm not going to do that. If anything has been, if anything is broke out, well, we'll fix it. If it's not broke out, I'm saying it's good. And I'll show you why. When I took that fill off, there's no rust underneath of it. It just lets me know that whatever's underneath the filler probably is good. And uh, whatever metal is rusty, well, I'm going to sandblast the whole thing. It's going to rough the fill up anyways. But I am not stripping anything off to get back down to that. I think it's a waste of time. I think when I take the filler off, it would look like that. They've already done the body work on it. And I'm going to trust them. Trust is a hard thing, but sometimes you got to do it. And on this side, exact same thing, there's no... When I took the filler off, there's no rust. down in place. This metal is going to stay up a little bit because we're still connected there. But I'm not worried about that right now because I'm going to have to do that after. I want to get this connected up here and get that rock and roll. I'll probably do, Jolene suggested it, I'll probably put angle iron on the bottom of this piece so to hold the window, we're going to have a little window, probably, how many, how many inches that is, probably six inches probably, across here, have a window that folds out, it's going to be cool, it's going to be, I don't know, I know they go up and down, I've seen them do that, but I don't know if anybody got a window that folds out in the back, I'm not sure, but basically this, this is going to go up to here, we're going to roll a piece of metal for that, have we got time, where are we at? 105. Alrighty, so do we have the computer up here? Yep. We got the computer up here. We're going to give away a hat or a shirt, I figure. Uh, we can continue on. I can cut a piece of metal for that. I will, I don't know if I'll leave the metal for that or if I won't leave the metal for that, but it, I might put a piece of metal in there um, for a moral. I'm not sure. Probably might. I'm not sure. I might not, too. I might actually turn into knocking these down, getting these corners turned down a little bit so I get that prepared. I'd like to take you on the adventure of the, I can f finish the welds underneath here, underneath here, I can finish the welds up there, finish the welds up there, get that done. Maybe get a piece of metal cut for that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay a piece of, Bristol board on that. Yeah, um, when whatever way I'm gonna lay that on there, you know, I'll mark it to get it to fit. And I'll come, I'll come halfway across there. So that gives me a piece to go on here to make this piece. So I've got to knock this, I gotta get, I might not have to knock this down some, by the looks of this, it might be okay. It might be okay. So we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna make this panel here and come down around and it's gonna have to come down around here. Don't know if we're cutting the doors down yet or not. We've seen on the other side with the tape, but I'm gonna make that piece of metal out of a pattern of crystal board. That way there, I get the basic right shape. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I finish the trunk bum off. And the trunk bum, I don't think it's going to look 
fed. I think it's going to look good. I think it's going to look good. And, it's, and it has to be done to continue on. I think I want to do this first. Let's give away a hat or a shirt. Let's do it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm square stocking it. Just using no tools whatsoever. A piece of wood and a hammer and the eye. I'm going for it. I've got not looking bad. I basically have the exact same length here. I have it on the other side, so I'm happy with that. I got the same distance from here up to there, so I'm happy with that. I got a beautiful woman. I'm happy with her. And let's face it, you cannot you cannot throw the project underneath the bus until it's done. Like there's there's so many things that can happen. So many things. Like me and Joey were sitting up here talking about the roof. We can weld the door shut on it, make a two door if we want. Don't know that yet, do you? Um, we could, we could, you know, we could draw a fish jumping under the water, eating a, eating a bear. We don't know that yet. <laughs> Basically, you like we could take and change the roof by filling that all in and angling that back that way and fill the whole roof in. Or we could take and change that and angle the roof back this way with that post. Um, we could take the top of the doors, cut that down, and make that up like that if we want to. There's so many things we can take. Now, there's so many things that can happen uh, to make this project something like something you've never seen before. Basically, what you've got to do, or anybody has to do, if you've got you're building something, just keep going and doing it your way. Just keep doing it and making yourself happy. Uh, the naysayers, um, they don't matter because they've never tried it or done it before, basically. And for someone to say that. It's not going to look good or like that. Um, I am beating to my own drum, and we all must admit, it shapes the world. Ed Ross cars probably weren't enjoyed in the day, but I bet you there's many, many, many thousands and thousands of people run to the museums to see them. George Barris, the king of customs. Um, cars like you've never seen before. Um, some of them are nice looking. Um, some of them I think are great. Some I think are not so great. But you have to tilt your hat to that man because he built cars you've never seen before. And for anybody to knock what I'm doing, you'll have to stop and think for a minute. <laughs> you'll have to stop and think for a minute. But I bet you won't. Let's give away a hat or shirt. Also, as I'm building this car, I'm not bothered, not a soul. My brain's on, my brain's on the prize. Hey, baby. Even you helped me out. Even Jolene's helped me design this bad boy. Bad boy, bad boy, what you gonna do? When I'm done, I set this thing right on Pebble Beach. Yes, I would. When I'm done, I'd set it right on Pebble Beach. 667. Whoa, that's some good comments, man. We must have we must have hit some chords. Chad sees what we do. He'll get tired of this one and move to another one before long. It's his car, his show. Some of his visions are remarkable, some less remarkable, but you never know until you try it. Right on, brother. But I'm going to stay right on her and get her. I mean, this is, this is the kind of project, and it's just like the Green Goblin when I first started that car. It's not the most beautiful car in the world. No, it's not. In many days I come up here as I was building that car, I was thinking, what am I doing? Like, what am I doing, really? Spending my money and my time, my effort on building something like this. But in the end, it got me where I am. I, I, I wouldn't change it for the world, building the Green Goblin, putting the roof on the front, the engine in the back. You know, Ripley's, believe it or not, who the hell would build a car to look like that? Basically, what I'm doing here is an art project. I'm going for it, and I'm gonna weld it up, and I'm gonna make it look the best I can there's so many ups and downs and corners and things that can be changed or made different or whatever. But let you know, Johnny Little, you have won a hat or a shirt of your choice. But to let you know, I'm going to continue on to paint this picture to make myself happy. And that's the only person I have to please is myself. And when I come up here and I throw that roof on that car and it does not work, that makes me want to work harder. Doesn't want to make me throw it out the door. Makes me want to work harder and make it look like something. Finish it. 
Weld it up, make it look like something. And these cars, everybody's saying you don't finish. Well, now that I got them welded up, anybody can finish them. <laughs> anybody in the world can finish them. Put some body fill on them, paint them, put a motor. Anybody can do that. But to come out in the garage to build something that you see or that you want to have, not everybody does that. Beat to your own drum. That's what shapes the world, man.